thanks for watching the video today our topic is how to collect user requirements the first thing you would want to do is to find out who the user of the system are to find out the right user for the system you can ask these questions who has to use the system who will be affected by the new system or who is going to need reports from the new system secondly you have to group the users by system functions normally not everyone has to understand the whole system and there will be many subsystems in the main system and you have to find out who will be using a particular subsystem so that you can ask relevant questions to those people following are some of the most common techniques to collect user requirements we will be going through all the techniques one by one firstly brainstorming brainstorming is a way of collecting user requirement by encouraging everyone to contribute ideas in a short period of time normally all the ideas are random thoughts of each person on how the system should behave later on these ideas will be refined combined and then improved secondly you can find samples of existing documents in the company such as text invoice as you can see on the screen from the sample of text invoice you can find out the requirements from the user next in most cases your future system will share many common features with many existing systems which are already on the market by studying the existing systems you can find out many uh, common requirements from user of many other companies based on that you can improve and refine the existing system to suit the new requirements next you can even collect user requirements through observation you can come to the customer workplace and quietly observe their daily jobs from that you can learn what they really need from the software what are the requirements that you need to implement for the new systems questionnaires are also one of the many ways for collecting user requirements they can come in two different types fixed format or free format fixed format questionnaires are questions with predefined responses free format questionnaires include questions which you are free to express your own opinion for each question you are given um, some space at the bottom which you can fill in your own opinion many people find it more effective to do face-to-face -face interviews it can have various applications such as finding and verifying facts next prototyping prototyping is the process of building a model of a system by presenting a model of the system to the user you can easily get them involved and at the same time you can verify the requirements 
from the user as well as collecting new requirements that they want to implement before you actually getting into the development phase finally joint requirement planning it is a special technique which requires structured meetings with the participation of business user information technology personnel uh, for the purpose of analyzing problems and defining requirements as a group 